What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at this BMW M3 competition touring the G81 and uh, that is because as you can see on the license plate holder there and that is because we have installed some performance parts on this car that I would like to show you that really improve the M3 Touring. So I'm going to show you around it quickly. We're not going to go in depth too much on the car. If you want to see a full review of a G81, click in the top right corner. This is going to be about the performance parts that we installed on this car. So Florian is the customer. Uh, he has trusted us with his G81, which is amazing to me. Uh, we gave him our M3 manual as a loaner car. So I hope he's been enjoying that car. And in the meantime, we went to town on his M3. So as you can see, we've got the Evolution M yellow daytime running lights, which definitely look mean as hell, especially on a dark car like this. This is Dravit Grau, so a very nice dark gray. It also has the carbon exterior package. So you can see the carbon intakes there also available in our store. We also installed the AST ALS kit. So that is an adjustable lowering spring. So we didn't change anything about the dampers or on the suspension itself. So we didn't change the dampers. You still have the button inside. You can still change it from comfort to sport, but uh, it sits a bit lower now and the height is adjustable. Adjustable lowering spring, uh, <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. So we also have a very, very good alignment setup for this car that we did. Uh, com combine that with the lower ride height, lower center of gravity. Uh, the camber on the car as standard is not that aggressive. So we also changed that a little bit to improve the handling uh, because it's quite a heavy car. And uh, dynamically speaking, it can definitely use this a lowering kit and some better alignment. And then the big one on this car is an Akrapovic exhaust. This is the OPF back, so the slip-on titanium exhaust, saving around 8 kilos of weight and gaining around 11 horsepower with this beautiful, beautiful titanium exhaust. Florian went for the round tips, so the more classic look, but uh, they also have octagonal available, which is a bit more angular. It's like the new style. This is definitely a very classic look with the titanium tips, carbon cover there, and it sounds a lot better than stock. This is like proper, proper improvement. So we've got some before and after shots for you, uh, comparing the sound before and after the exhaust. Bear in mind, this is still with OPF in place. So that is what the Akrapovic exhaust can do for you. Now I do have to say that we also installed some downpipes on this one. So this car has the Grill 200 cell downpipes. 
uh, with ECE and tooth approval. And that means that you can install these downpipes and the car will not throw a check engine light. Uh, we've got the Krapovich on there, we've got the grill on there. This is like the maximum attack mode. You can go uh, fully legal without any, you know, OPF delete modules or anything like that. Uh, this just works, plug and play, which is really, really great. We also installed a couple other carbon parts, as you can see. So we've got the Evolution M carbon engine cover, ECU cover and slam panel. And then we've got the Carbonius carbon fiber strut brace with aluminium bracket, which looks just stunning, right? Uh, Florian is also coming back later for an Eventuri intake and for some tuning as well. So we're doing a warranty stage one tune on this car. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned. Uh -huh. uh, we'll definitely make a video when uh, Florian is back and we properly tuned his car. But for now, let's go for a little drive. And we'll also include some driving footage of the Akrapovich exhaust while we're driving. So that should be nice, but also, but also if you go to valves closed, you can already hear the big difference. And because Akrapovich has like its own valve controller unit, this button actually works properly and the valve opens 100%. Uh, with the stock car, it does not. And you can really hear that. So this, is a proper difference valves closed versus valves open which is nice uh, it definitely needs it i mean let's be honest stock it doesn't sound bad but it's also not that loud and uh, i think a lot of people who buy this car want a little bit more of an experience right you want to kind of feel and hear that you're driving an m car and i feel like it's not really the case stock now bmw does offer their m performance exhaust as you might know which is that weird trapezium shaped thing that has like four pipes like that i'll put it i'll pull up a picture right now it it looks weird and it, it doesn't sound like anything really and the difference is just not big enough with this though you immediately feel and hear that there's a lot more body i'll open the windows it's a bit more loud even those little pops as well that sounds like a proper car and suddenly it sounds like an M car And even though the OPF is the biggest restraining factor in this case, even so with these downpipes and this Krapovich slip-on, you're still able to get some proper sound from it. So, you know, it should have been possible from the factory, but anyway. Also, the AST kit, I feel like the M3 Touring, because it's so heavy, it kind of lacks a little bit of feeling and you're, you're sort of always chasing the weight if that makes sense you know you turn in and you're like you have to sort of correct because it's quite a heavy car but with this kit it's a nice little test road for for the AST and the X-Drive has a different suspension geometry to begin with. They fixed that problem or they fixed it with the uh, M3 CS, which just completely transformed that car. But the Touring has the original X-Drive setup and it just, it, it's, it's not as pointy, as agile as the rear wheel drive M3s are. So if you go for an AST kit, 
with our alignment setup, uh, it just changes the feel of the car completely. The, the front end becomes so much more sort of agile or, I don't know, it feels lighter, the nose feels lighter and that is just a nice thing when you want that nose to turn in, right? As I said, it's, it's all plug and play. The yellow DRLs, the, the downpipes, the exhaust, it, it all works really well and it's quite easy to install. So uh, yeah, really happy with the result of this car. I hope Florian will be happy with it as well. Uh, we're returning the car tomorrow, so looking forward to that. If you want any of these products, you can check out the links in the description. That exhaust, it is, it is proper, properly loud. And you get those bangs that you don't really hear with the stock car. And you also have a little performance gain, of course, as I said. Yeah, the Krapovic alone is like 8 horsepower, but you also have the different downpipes. So let's see what the difference is. So thanks for watching, all products are available, links in the description if you're interested or if you have any questions let us know. Uh, I think this is a really, really good setup for this car. As I said, it, it kind of fine tunes uh, an already really good car. It just makes it a little bit more enjoyable to drive. The sound is a little bit nicer and louder and it just feels like a proper M car. It feels more like a proper M car, which I think is, you know, that was the goal. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video, this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.